The unique command is used to print or omit repeated lines of text. So when you're dealing with a text file, if you have repeated lines, so duplicate lines of text, so lines that are exactly the same, sometimes you want to print those lines or sometimes you want to omit those lines. So I have a test file on my system. If I cat out test here, you can see this is this test file that I just threw some random text in. You can see the beginning of it involves the same line repeated twice. And the basic way unique works is you have some output and then you pipe it through unique. And if you don't give it any other flags or options, what it's going to do is in this case, it's going to cut out the test file and then unique is going to get rid of the duplicated line. So it's going to print the first instance of a new first line, but it got rid of the other two instances of a new first line in that test file. Now, sometimes when you know you've got a bunch of duplicated lines in a file, you don't want to see any of the lines, including the very first instance of that and all you need to do for that is just tack on dash u to unique and now it gets rid of all of the duplicated lines including the original if you want to display the duplicates but not the non duplicates dash d is the flag you're looking for and now you get a new first line you don't get it repeated three different times it's just the one instance and then you don't get any of the non duplicated lines in the output now sometimes you might want to know how many times this line was duplicated so unique does have a flag the C flag for count the number of duplicates and in this case if I do the uh, D flag here and run that you can see once again D we're only going to print the duplicated lines which in this case is just this one a new first line how many times was it counted in the document three times now sometimes when you're comparing lines of text you, you don't want to compare the entire line you want to specify a particular character amount and you can do this if i sort this test file and i pipe it into unique and i give it this flag here dash w for width uh, so character width the number of characters and i say sort it by the first five characters is basically what this command does and now it sorts the test file and then it delivers the unique lines based on the width of five characters and you see i don't get much output and that's because i had a lot of duplicated lines here when you base it on the first five characters because if i can't test again you can see that all of these are duplicated, so you don't get those except the first instance. Also, once you get into this block here, because we were only comparing the first five characters, right, of each line, the first five characters of all these lines start with alias, so they're considered duplicates. So only the first instance gets printed out, all the others are considered duplicates, and they did not get printed out. So if I up arrow and back to this command, dash W5 is we begin with the first five characters and that's where we do the unique sorting if you wanted it the opposite to where you start after the first five characters you would give it the dash s flag and this avoids comparing until the first five characters are complete and in this case you can see i still get a new first line filtered out as far as the duplicates but now because we didn't start comparing any of the lines until after the fifth character all of these are considered unique non-duplicated lines now now if you want to learn more about the unique command type man unique in the terminal to read the man page